Welcome to Ping Pong Battle. Um, this is the new tutorial for version 1.0.1. We've made a few changes based on some feedback and some bugs and also the new uh, operating system that Apple released, iOS 4. So, quickly run through. If you're new to Ping Pong, we have these little different pop-ups that you'll see on your devices. They are very important. Please read them. Um, they'll help a lot of the debugging issues that you'll come through. This first pop-up talks about your sound, making sure that your sound is completely turned up on all of your devices as the game utilizes quite a few sound effects that are critical to gameplay. I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to connect with two-player mode. Um, we've made some changes there. Not only can you connect using Bluetooth, but you can also connect using Wi-Fi. We recommend if um, all three devices are connected using the exact same protocol, so either using all Wi-Fi or all Bluetooth, turn off your Wi-Fi if you're using Bluetooth, and turn off your Bluetooth if you're using Wi-Fi. That will get you the best results um, 10 times out of 10. So, We'll go ahead and select a table. Once we've selected the table, we can go here to the uh, other devices, whether it's your iPhone, iPod Touch, or uh, an iPhone 4 now. And once you've done that, you can see how quickly it connected. Um, I select my paddles. The game will automatically begin now. That is a new feature. Some of the other things that we've done is we've changed the actual gameplay to be more conducive with the international uh, rules of ping pong, uh, one of which is you win by 11 now instead of 21 with a max of 21 and you have to win by two. We've also added um, a best out of three series so you have to win two games in order to actually win a match. We haven't taken all the new, all the international rules and impl implemented them in the game but we thought that was a critical one as we've uh, heard some reviews and so on and so forth. So one of the things that we've added that's the biggest in this version is backgrounding or multitasking. Um, one of the side effects of that is you may uh, incur some issues, so we added a reset button on the paddle. If you click that, um, we added another uh, pop-up so that if you clicked it on accident, you were able to dismiss that and not have your game affected. If you have any connection issues, you get a phone call, a text message, anything that may have interrupted the gameplay, rather than restarting the entire app, simply hit reset, select yes, and it will disconnect the entire app um, on all three devices so that you're able to try again. Again, no restarting the app necessary. Simply reconnect your devices to the table. Within seconds, you're up and going again. Select your paddles, and you're able to play. So, um, strongly suggest that you, before you play the first time, make sure that you do go through, and as I'll reset here, um, make sure you do go through our uh, printed tutorial. Um, it will talk about how to hold, how we recommend holding the device, how to serve, how to listen for the ball, and then also some of the combo moves. Look forward to, the, to more reviews on Ping Pong Battle and hope you guys have fun.